Hi everybody, I thought I'd do a short video on our diagnostic ultrasound machine here and just demonstrate quickly how it can be used in around the knee. Uh, I've grabbed Emmett here from the clinic and uh, you may know him as one of our physio team. Uh, he assures me he's got a perfectly healthy knee but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it looks on ultrasound scan. Um, so we need a little bit of gel uh, on the ultrasound probe to get a good contact with the skin. And uh, we'll start at the top of the knee here. So um, at the top of the knee we've got the, the quadriceps tendon. Uh, so we've got the patella which is the kneecap and, and looking higher up the body here we've got the quadriceps tendon. We can see down into the knee uh, a little bit deeper and here we have the, the femur, the bottom end of the, the thigh bone. In this area here you can see into the joint space itself. So the knee joint has a capsule that goes round about it and uh, we can see the capsule very nicely. There's a small amount of fluid within the, the knee joint here and that can often be quite normal. In the presence of uh, problems within the knee joint, sometimes you see that there's an awful lot more fluid within the knee. So we can have a look at the cordyceps tendon and follow that down. Perhaps just need a little bit more gel to get some contact there. And we can follow that down to the patella tendon. So that's a tendon that connects the patella, the kneecap, all the way down to the top of the shin bone called the tibia at the tibial tuberosity. So we can pick up uh, issues related to the tendon itself in this zone. I probably just want to bring my depth down a little bit there, better image. Um, so when we're looking at tendons, uh, I often think of it like a banana. So you can have a banana split view where you can see the length of the tendon in that cross section. Or if we spin the ultrasound probe round, we see it more like the chopped end of a banana. So we, we can visualise it in both views. So that's coming all the way down the front of the knee. If we come back up to the top, if we're more interested in the joint itself, we can sweep round and we can see if there's any swelling round to, to the sides, what's known as the medial recess, or around the lateral recess of, of the knee. Um, it's got a little bit of something interesting going on here, so maybe he's been through the wars in the past, but he, he's fine at the moment. So coming down uh, the inside of the knee further, we can actually look at the knee joint line. So here we have the femur, the thigh bone, connecting and articulating with the tibia, the shin bone, and in the middle there we have quite a nice image of the meniscus, which is a specialised cartilage in the knee. Overlying the meniscus, we've got the medial collateral ligament, so any MCL injuries, sprains, etc., tears can be picked up with the ultrasound quite nicely there. We won't see it particularly well in this particular position, however we can assess the bottom end of some of the hamstring and adductor tendons that come down into this part of the knee. That's some of them just in that position there. I'd normally change the patient's position to visualise them a bit more readily. Um, but this uh, point here is known as the pes anserine, uh, and that's the attachment of some of these tendons. But on the outside of the knee, again, we can look at the knee joint line here with the, the structure known as the lateral meniscus. Um, we can see another tendon uh, called the popliteal tendon. And also overlying that, we can pick up the lateral collateral ligament as, as well. So that's a bit of a brief overview of the knee. Uh, we can look at lots of other different structures within the knee, but these are the key structures at the front, the inside and the outside of the knee. Hope you've enjoyed that little video and we'll hope to produce another one again soon.